You know what's crazy? The man who gave us wireless electricity, who revolutionized the modern world, died alone in a New York hotel room with barely a penny to his name. But here's what most people don't know. Nikola Tesla had something more valuable than money, something he guarded more closely than any of his patents or inventions. A prayer, but not just any prayer, a way of tapping into the universe that he claimed never failed. Not once. And today, I'm going to share it with you. If you're watching this right now, feeling stuck, feeling like you're not living up to your potential, trust me, I've been there. And what I'm about to share might just be the missing piece you've been searching for. Before you think this is just another manifestation video, let me stop you right there. This isn't about wishful thinking or empty promises. This is about a proven method that one of history's greatest geniuses used every single day. You see, when I first discovered this, I was skeptical too. I mean, come on, a prayer that never fails. But then I started digging deeper into Tetter's writings, his private journals, and what I found, well, it changed everything. And here's the thing, Tesla didn't share this with everyone. He knew that this kind of power, in the wrong hands or used without understanding, could create chaos instead of harmony. But I believe you're here for a reason. You're ready. You know what fascinates me most about Tesla's story? It's not the inventions, not the patterns, but what happened in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel in January 1943. When researchers went through Tesla's belongings after his death, they expected to find blueprints, equations, maybe some unfinished inventions. Instead, they discovered something that would change how we understand human potential forever. Tucked away in a worn leather journal, written in Tesla's meticulous handwriting, were pages and pages about his morning ritual. Not his technical process, not his mathematical formulas, but something far more powerful. You see, Tesla understood something that most of us have forgotten, that the universe itself is pure energy, constantly flowing, constantly creating. Let me paint you a picture of Tesla's world for a moment. Imagine New York City in the early 1900s. While other inventors were focused on machines and mechanics, Tesla would spend hours in his laboratory, surrounded by crackling electricity, watching how energy moved, how it flowed, how it responded to human intention. He wasn't just observing electricity, he was discovering the language of the universe itself. You might be wondering, why haven't we heard about this before? Well, think about it. History remembers Tesla as the inventor, the scientist, the eccentric genius, but Tesla himself. He considered this morning practice more valuable than any of his patents. He wrote, and I'm quoting directly from his journal here. The day I discovered this connection was the day I truly began to invent. But here's what's really interesting. Tesla wasn't just keeping some daily gratitude journal. He had systematically documented how the universe responded when he aligned himself with its energy. He tracked it, tested it, refined it, just like he did with his inventions. This wasn't some vague spiritual practice, this was a scientist documenting a breakthrough. And what he discovered was revolutionary. While others were trying to force their will upon the world, Tesla had found a way to partner with the universe itself. He understood that success, innovation, even genius, they weren't about pushing harder. They were about aligning better. Now, let me share something that blew my mind when I first understood it. Tesla didn't view the universe the way most scientists of his time did. While others saw separate objects, discrete events, Tesla saw one interconnected field of energy. And here's the crucial part. He didn't just theorize about it. He found a way to tap into it. Think about this for a moment. Every morning, before the sun rose, Tesla would stand in his laboratory, surrounded by his inventions, and do something that seemed crazy to others. He wouldn't start by working on his machines. Instead, he would close his eyes and attune himself to what he called the primary solar energy that permeates everything. Imagine you're standing in a pool of water. 
Every movement you make creates ripples that affect the entire pool. Tesla understood that our thoughts, our intentions, our very consciousness works the same way. We're not separate from the universe, we're swimming in it. Every thought, every intention creates ripples in this cosmic ocean of energy. But here's where it gets really interesting. Tesla discovered that this energy wasn't just passive. It responded, it collaborated, it created. When he aligned himself with it through his morning practice, solutions would appear in his mind fully formed. Inventions would reveal themselves. Problems that had stumped him for months would suddenly have obvious answers. What Tesla intuited over a century ago, quantum physics is now proving. Everything. You, me, the device you're watching this on. It's all energy vibrating at different frequencies. And here's the mind-bending part. The observer affects the observed. Your consciousness, your attention, literally influences how energy behaves at the quantum level. This isn't some new age theory. This is cutting edge science catching up to what Tesla discovered through direct experience. He found that when he aligned his energy with the universe's frequency through his morning prayer, he could influence the flow of creation itself. Before I share the exact words Tesla used, I need you to understand something crucial. This isn't just about memorizing and repeating words. Tesla was very clear about this. The words are simply tools to create a specific state of consciousness, a particular frequency of being. When I first discovered this prayer, I made the mistake many people make. I treated it like a magic spell, expecting instant results. But that's not how it works. The power isn't in the words themselves. It's in the state they create within you, the connection they build with the universal field of energy. Let me walk you through the exact process Tesla used, and I want you to really visualize this with me. First, he would find absolute solitude, not just physical solitude, mental solitude. He understood that our usual mental chatter creates static in our connection with universal energy. Tesla would start by standing or sitting completely still. He believed that physical stillness was the first step to mental stillness. Then he would focus on his breath, but not in the way most meditation practices teach. Instead, he would imagine breathing in pure cosmic energy. He would visualize it filling his body with brilliant white light. Only when he felt completely aligned, completely in tune with this energy, would he speak the words. And here they are, exactly as written in his journal. I am one with the source. The universe flows through me. All that I need is already mine. Simple words, right? But understand what each part means. I am one with the source. This isn't about being worthy or becoming something you're not. It's a recognition of what already is. You are made of star stuff. You are the universe experiencing itself. The universe flows through me. This is about surrendering to something bigger than yourself. Tesla understood that true power doesn't come from forcing or controlling. It comes from aligning and allowing. All that I need is already mine. This isn't about greed or magical thinking. It's about recognizing that everything in the universe is energy. And when you're aligned with that energy, everything you need naturally flows to you. The power of this prayer isn't in reading it or even memorizing it. The power comes from understanding it at such a deep level that it changes how you see yourself in relation to the universe. Tesla didn't just say these words, he embodied them. And that's what I'm going to teach you to do. You know what's fascinating? When most people first hear about Tesla's prayer, they have one of two reactions. Either they dismiss it as too simple, or they expect instant miracles. But Tesla understood something deeper, something that modern science is only now beginning to validate. Let me share something personal with you. When I first started practicing this, I was that skeptical person sitting there thinking, how can three simple sentences change anything? But then I started noticing something strange. It wasn't like lightning bolts from the sky. It was subtler, but in many ways more powerful. You see, 
When Tesla talked about connecting with universal energy, he wasn't speaking metaphorically. He understood that every thought you have creates an electromagnetic field. This isn't mysticism. We can actually measure these fields now with sophisticated equipment. Your thoughts literally change the energy field around you. But here's what's really mind-bending. These fields don't just stay contained within you. They ripple out, interacting with everything around you. Think about that for a moment. Every thought you have is like dropping a pebble in the cosmic pond. The ripples extend far beyond what you can see. When you practice Tetla's prayer with true understanding and conviction, you're not just saying words. You're literally tuning your personal energy field to match the frequency of what you want to create. It's like adjusting a radio dial until you find the perfect clarity of signal. Modern quantum physics calls this the observer effect, the fact that simply observing something changes its behavior at a subatomic level. Tesla discovered this through intuition and experimentation long before we had the tools to prove it. He found that when you consciously align your energy through this prayer, you become what quantum physicists call an active observer, literally helping to collapse quantum possibilities into physical reality. Let me take you back to six months ago. I was sitting in my apartment, bills piling up, dreams feeling further away each day. I had been practicing Tesla's prayer for a few weeks, but honestly, I was doing it wrong. I was treating it like a cosmic vending machine, just saying the words and expecting results. Then something clicked. I remembered Tesla's writings about the importance of feeling the energy, not just speaking the words, so I decided to do an experiment. For 21 days straight, I committed to practicing this prayer the way Tesla actually intended. The first few days, nothing dramatic happened. But around day seven, I started noticing something different. Ideas began coming to me in the shower. Random connections started appearing. People would call out of nowhere with opportunities. It wasn't magic. It was as if I tuned myself to a different frequency, and the universe was responding. Now, let me walk you through exactly how to integrate this into your life, because this is where most people get stuck. Tesla was very specific about the conditions needed for this prayer to work at its full potential. First, timing is crucial. Tesla believed the hours just before dawn were most powerful. Why? because that's when the Earth's electromagnetic field is most stable. But if you can't do early morning, find a time when you can be completely undisturbed. Create your sacred space. It doesn't need to be fancy. Kessler often practiced in his small hotel room. What matters is that it's quiet and you won't be interrupted. Turn off your phone. Yes, completely off, not just on silent. Remove anything that might pull your attention away. Start with your breath. Tesla used a specific breathing pattern. Inhale for four counts, hold for four, exhale for four. Do this seven times. Seven wasn't random. Tesla believed it was a number that resonated with the universe's natural frequency. Then, before you speak the prayer, spend a few moments feeling energy in your body. Tesla described it as becoming aware of yourself as a conductor of cosmic electricity. Feel the tingling in your hands, the subtle vibration in your chest. As we come to the end of this journey together, I want to share something Tesla wrote near the end of his life. He said, The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. That time is now. You're not just learning some ancient practice. You're at the forefront of where science and consciousness meet. Every time you practice this prayer with true understanding, you're participating in the evolution of human potential. Tomorrow morning, when you wake up, you have a choice. You can start your day the same way you always have, or you can join those of us who are tapping into something bigger. Remember, Tesla didn't just invent things. He changed how we understand reality itself. This is your invitation to do the same. Not by copying Tesla, 
but by following the path he illuminated and making it your own. The universe isn't just listening. It's waiting for you to step into your power. And remember, every great journey begins with a single step, or in this case, a single prayer. The same prayer that helped Tesla transform the world. The only question is, are you ready to transform yours?